why would we use powder metal? Our answer is less scrap and a, uh, a part that's very af affordable. I mean, it's an affordable part after you pay for your tooling. You got a repeatability, a part one, the part 500, they're all the same going on through. I'm Joe Ferencek. I'm with ASCO Sintering Company. We're a contract manufacturer of powder metal parts. If you want powder metal, 5,000 is a good starting point. For us, the sweet spot is 15,000 and up. That way, the tool's paid for. We like the hard stuff. We're not the guys to set up and spit out widgets. You can go anywhere and get PM guys like that. We like parts that are multi-leveled. This part in particular has seven levels to it. We do this all in one go, so to us, this is a great part. We will do this at one time, come out, go through the furnace, good to go. The setup is the cost in a PM part. 19 presses in our building that range from 6 tons to 220 tons, pressing an up and down motion. This is a gear carrier used in a motor for a surgical instrument. It's a, a triple stack up, which means three of these on top of each other for gear reduction. It was made before with these posts pressed in. We have made this in one motion with a good tool design and material. We were able to give the customer a good cost savings. This part won MPIF part of the year in 2013. This part is used in a snow blower. It is compacted in one, one go and has secondary operation for the hole that goes in the side. This part is copper infiltrated and it's a very uh, good sturdy part. Place is a machine part. Powder metal is porous. So press this part to say a 6-4 density. You add copper to it. When it goes through the furnace, it becomes 6-8, 6-9 density. So it becomes a much stronger, durable part. There's two ways to inf infiltrate a PM part. It's with copper or it's with resin. Well, it's, it's good for plating, machining, so you need, to, uh, you, know, you need to have that if you're gonna machine because it will chip away. This part is non-shrink brass. This is in the fusing for a 40 millimeter round for the Army. So it comes in low velocity and high velocity. Low velocity is a practice round. High velocity is what the soldiers are using. We actually have a hole that we have to drill at a 45 degree angle through the part and it cannot have a burr in it. That's a very difficult uh, thing to do there, but we found an excellent uh, working partner and we're able to do that. The customer buys bar stock that's gear related already. They cut it, they hone it out, they put the hole in, they put these holes in, there you go. We compact that all in one step, put it in the furnace, there's the part. This part is used in the um, military, again, as a braking system. When they want to practice firing at planes, they drag a drone behind an aircraft. This is a braking system that breaks the cable at 5,000 yards or however long you want to do it, so they're able to do target practice at the plane behind. Kanban, uh, just in time, uh, VMI, vendor managed inventory, we do all that. I mean, there's a lot of times we've just completely bailed customers out by having extra on the shelf and, hey, we're out, oh my God, can you send me some? Well, just so happens we have some on the shelf. Well, and we take that as what's called ASCO managed inventory. That's on us. So we have that on the shelf. So if you buy or don't buy, that's our risk. We like to be there in the beginning with you to develop your part and to feel that uh, you know, we're always looking for the best interest of the customer. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.